Hey guys, myself Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how to use process start trigger and how to use process end trigger and how can you use both the things at the same time and what is this trigger scope? Everything from the scratch we are going to learn. So let's get started. I'm going to delete everything and we are going to start from the very beginning. Okay. So the first thing we need to understand why we are learning trigger scope with the name. It is pretty clear that if something happens, let's say somebody is clicking on something, somebody is opening something, we should be able to create an event. That means if let's say I'm opening an application, then it should log saying, hey, the user has opened this application. So for a tracking purpose, for an event, some kind of action. So let, let's see that. Okay, let's start it. You'll understand. Let's open trigger scope. So the moment you type trigger, will go very slow in the under system application you have trigger scope drag and drop this simple so the trigger scope is here now in the trigger let's say there are two different activities i'm going to use process start trigger and there is another activity i'm going to use process end trigger now if i say in the it is asking process name that means tell me when a process opens which process opens i should take a action if some process opens then I should take an action so what is this process let's say to keep it simple I'm going to use notepad.exe what I'm typing notepad.exe I'm simply not typing notepad so that means when notepad.exe somebody opens notepad then this will become active hey somebody has opened notepad then immediately it will come to the action block and whatever activities that you have mentioned here that's going to execute okay for example we will go with a very you can generally you go for a log message or some kind of an action that is required here we will simply use a message box because our understanding is important once we have an understanding then we can build various logics depending on our requirement so here i said notepad.exe and here process end trigger that means when somebody closes notepad even that time it should note hey the user has closed the notepad something like that okay so i'm writing notepad.exe so this trigger part is done now we will come here they have written something called arc this variable is very very important okay very very important i'm going to talk about that now let's see how to use it so here if i simply type user has opened notepad okay if i simply type it over here and leave it like this very simple right and if you run this i'm using the shortcut key f5 the moment you debug this what happens so it will go to the trigger block it will read what are the triggers there so it is going to read everything and it is going to stay there it is going to stay there it will not do nothing it is going to stay there the moment i open notepad look at it Look at it carefully the moment i'm going to open look so it has immediately come to the message box okay and it said hey user has opened notepad that means this action of opening notepad become a trigger point getting it the action of opening the notepad becoming a or starting the notepad becomes a trigger point and this get activated very very useful activity okay very very useful activity so here it is saying user has opened notepad now let's say i'm going to close the notepad the moment i close the notepad okay then what should happen the process end trigger should execute and it should say process has closed the notepad but it's not happening did it happen nothing has happened the moment i have closed it understood has closed but again it's showing user has opened notepad how about me putting another message box below this and says user has closed the notepad will it will it be able to select something can it select uh, on its own no so for this we can we need to learn let me stop this okay you need to stop this because this will continue to run why it is continuing to run there is an important property for ui path trigger scope the important property is here if you set sequential it is going to keep on running if you make it one time just after one execution it is going to stop okay now let it be sequential now what i want the very important property that we have to learn because we have to put some conditions right when it should show which message box 
for that you have to study the ax variable the args or the argument variable this ax variable is very very important so here in the in this variable i am going to say dot okay the moment you hit dot there is something called trigger name what is this trigger name let's execute and see it okay control s and i'm going to f5 run it so look at this variable what is the output comes over here is very very important point very very important point so let's have a look okay now it is just waiting for the user to open something let's say i'm opening notepad the moment i have opened the trigger executed and it is showing me this time it is showing me the argument trigger name so which trigger got executed process space remember there is a space start space trigger this got executed getting it that means if you look at here this got executed not second trigger the very first trigger got executed now let's say let me keep the notepad open now let's say i'm going to click on okay it's again going to wait until i'm doing some action the moment i'm closing this notepad look at it the moment i close it what happened again the action got executed and this time look at what it's saying this time the trigger which got executed was process end trigger so with this arcs dot trigger name i am able to get what i am able to get the name of the triggers okay now this gives me an option to design and put a condition so either let me stop this so you can go with a if activity or you can go with a switch activity so let's use a switch activity let's say i'm using a switch activity i'm going to drag and drop the switch activity here okay now in the expression what's i'm going to write i'm going to say ax dot and then i'm going to select the trigger name getting it if ax dot trigger name and here i can make it to dot to string dot to string simple and here for the switch i will make this to string so done now i am going to add a case i am going to add a new case i leave the default as it is here in the new case i have to write the trigger name now let's write the first one so how do you write select this activity go to the display name copy that name so that you don't make a spelling mistake scroll down and here in the new case within double quotes because this is a string i am going to paste it done so the first case is created let's click on again uh, let's copy the second one process and trigger go to the display name select copy pretty simple click on add new case and within double quotes i am going to paste it simple now there are two different cases i have created now when the process start trigger happens it should log a message or here we will simply use a message box okay so that we can see the demonstration so here in the message box what i'm going to say i'm going to say the user has opened it user had user or user op sim we'll keep it simple opened notepad okay something like that now for the process and trigger let's copy paste the previous one copy and here paste and here i am saying closed what i am saying closed notepad done now what would happen look at it let's run this okay let's run this so as per the definition it should find the trigger name if it matches then it should show required message if it is open it will say open if it is closed it, it should say closed so let's run it okay this time i i can do a control f5 to run it let's see so what happened now i have started the execution so the, the execution is just waiting okay for me to open the notepad the moment i open the notepad this is waiting like a tiger to attack the moment i am opening the notepad see i opened it now it should execute and show me the message box so let's see what's what's wrong it's taking a lot of time is it executing okay Let, let's let's try to stop this let's see what went wrong let's debug it
okay 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 now let me type notepad it has opened it has come to the switch activity and the switch got closed so that means um, switch closed but it's not coming to any of the activities reason being what is the reason let's stop this okay so the understood now tell me guys what is wrong here see this for the switch activity i said it is a string right now for the case i think i don't have to put a double quote over here okay i think the double quote is making problem so let me remove that double quote and it should execute fine okay so this is the correction let's make it let's remove the double quote go to the end and remove the double quote so both the double quotes has been removed now let's run it and see how this time it is going to execute okay so here let's wait okay so the execution has started let me type notepad so the moment the notepad is open what happened user open notepad the message has come right it was just waiting so it has come now let's see i'm going to click on okay so instead of message box you can use a log message you can write line something like that so let me or any any kind of action you want to take after that okay um, then let me close this then it says user closed notepad so getting it so this is how you will be utilizing multiple trigger actions and with a switch activity or a if condition you can you know make appropriate actions you can put if something somebody does something then this is what it should happen all right so all these actions can be designed instead of a message box just for learning purpose we have used a message box but depending on your project requirement you can go ahead and use activities or if you are learning you can think of various situations and use specific activities in such places of a message box so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with another exciting content on ui path on the next video take care bye bye